Hmm? Hmm? That should do it. What's he up to? I was just putting one of those plates in there. It ought to keep the door from locking again. Now we can come back here anytime we want, right? Plates? Ah, why would you want to come back here? Safe? I might like to play a little piano. The safe is a good point. Yeah, we did never open the safe. So he put a plate in the doorway so we can come back here in case it closes. We might need to sneak back in here. Which means there might be information we don't have about the other area. And in fact, the other chamber might have another reason you might want to prop a door open so that you can maybe get the thing from it. Mm. Branching storylines, maybe. Spooky dookie. Ooh. Piano. Come on, let's get moving. We aren't out of this yet. Well, then? Hmm. Hmm. Can't say I could ever imagine Seven playing the piano. He couldn't use the piano in there anyway. The keyboard's a mess. But why would he want to leave the door unlocked then? <sighs> I have no clue. The, the sa hey, the, wait for me! The safe. The, the, Junpei, you were there. <laughs> what if the code to the safe is 353? That's B53. The B53? Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, the famous band, the B-53s. <laughs> that I wouldn't know. I, I would oh, believe you uh, if a metal you said place. that. Oh, would you? Yeah, you, know, you don't know who the B-52s are? No. Oh. There's a band called the B-52s? Yeah. So stupid. Rock Lobster. <laughs> Rock Lobster? Don't you know that song? Yes. Yeah, that's B-52s. Wow. I no, even... it's not. Is it? Shit. Come on, Keith. There's only two I'm things. I'm not looking it up. There's only two <laughs> things I can I can rely on you for. That's rocks and music, not rock music, but just rocks Figures. and music. Apparently getting trapped. Or oh no, he's trying to open Are the door. Elevators over there. Nah. No way to know if they're working or not from here. I think oh, those are bungalows. There's a door just to the left of this grate. Sounds like it's locked. Yep. Stairs it's weird because it feels like a lot of this stuff is written with the intention that you can't actually see this stuff. Yeah. It's like they wrote this first, and then they were like, "Well, we're gonna draw the." I'm elevators. mostly weird about by the. I'm mostly weird about by the way the game feels like that somebody made like a mist type game, and then decided to play it themselves and script fictional characters playing the entire game for you in a weird way. Oh uh, yeah. Like we just did a like we collected a few four music sheets and made a, mu a song, but like that was like after hours <laughs> of the, like we actually did more puzzle solving in the first room, I think. But even then, like, the puzzles so far basically find the thing that's either a combination or a solution to the thing. And it's like the one puzzle in the room. Hmm. They're blocked by the grate, though. But this here seems accessible. So we can open it? Nah, no, we need a woman too. to do Look. it. Oh no, we took no woman's. <laughs> What's this mark? The female symbol? Ah, the Venus symbol, I imagine. Do you Wait, recall the, the similar symbol? symbols near the large central stairway? Apparently. Is they Mars the male symbol? Many of the solar I don't know. Bodies. Oh, th that's right. The Sun, Saturn, and Earth. So, as you can see, that one is likely not the woman symbol, but a Venus symbol. So I assume. Wait, why is Earth a crosshair? Hmm. Hold on. It has the We're prime seven. meridian and the equator on it. Bullshit. That's what they explained at the beginning. You just did that because we made guns and we kill each other. <laughs> Can't uh, lie to me, is. whoever invented way. the solar system. This way, Snake. Follow me. Snake? Hmm. I wonder if this door will... How about that? It opens. Oh. I was actually ready for it to not, because like every other door in this fucking goddamn game doesn't open. We're gonna, Whoa! Oh. I think Hello. we're in a puzzle already? Hello. We might be getting to explore in a non-escape context, or maybe there are multiple rooms per escape sequence. That'd be so nice. Is this some kind of casino? Sure it looks like boat. one. I mean, cruise ships have casinos on them. Yeah. Because it's in international waters. Well, this is troubling. The door's locked Hello, behind us. Hello, clue-looking thing over there in the background. That's conspicuous, the, th the black yeah. shapes. Are they on the outside of a glass case? Like maybe you angle in a specific direction and it becomes a shape? Maybe. 
Huh. It's on a white Seems background. Seems we are once again locked in. Oh, come on. Even if that door was open, it's not like we had anywhere to go that way. So we must find another exit. Then. Wow, what a fucking sassy bass. Alright guys, let's split up and search this room. We didn't have anywhere else to go anyway. Yeah, no, no dawdling, let's go. Quickly now. Wow, right back into the escape room. Yay! This is exactly what I was hoping gameplay. this would be. Yeah, back to back gameplay rooms. Yeah. And then a little story and joining them real yeah, quick. Yeah, like I wanted the story to be very mild with, yeah. uh, with a lot of- So puzzles. it sounds like there might be like three hours of story and then like maybe like an hour of gameplay or something like that. Odd. All right, so we're in a casino. It's one big L-shaped room this time. I am cameraman. There's being a, a camera. Oh, whoa, whoa. They're happening. Okay, how many screens are there? So starting here, one, two, three, four, five screens. No, four. You've already been on that screen. Four, yeah. Um. Oh, so you like, go on a trip. <laughs> like I went from being in the top left to being in the bottom right when I went between those screens. So yeah. The, uh, huh. Yeah, I kind of preferred the part where you were spinning on an axis in the very first room because it felt like you could tell you had a good space for the room's layout. Yeah, yeah, like spatial awareness. Now instead of feeling like I'm rotating in a room, it's kind of just here's four arbitrary directions where stuff can happen in. Yeah, that's fine. I just need to not think of it as one a singular uh, room I'm spinning in and just four screens basically, which is fine. I'm curious about these things. Ah, you shine. A yeah. So as I figured, there's different stuff printed on different sides of it, and if you if you look at through it at a different What's that in the center? That's like a playing card. Oh. If you look at these at a certain angle to create a certain shape, which we're gonna do by turning on this light, apparently. Oh, boobies. Yeah, that's what that means. Oh. Okay. Wait, with those two lights turned on, I heard something from the bottom of the fireplace. What was that? I heard something down there. Well, let's grab that so card. So spade, diamond, and heart. Hmm? Didn't think I'd find a card here <laughs> under all these card symbols. So there's a spade. Let's probably no. look at it real quick. That's a uh, six spade, of spades. Yeah. He has nothing else to say. Okay. Oh, turn back off. Oh, look, we got a thing. Coin bag. Oh, we can play the ja the. There slot are a whole bunch of coins now. stuffed in this velour bag or velour. I don't know. Look at all these coins. Perhaps these coins will allow us to convince the machines to move. Uh, just put I think that's bribing, not even convincing. Maybe. Just put snake on slot machine duty while we try to solve puzzles. You wouldn't even know if we want a jackpot! <laughs> Firewood. Nothing else. This chair goes to the poker table. Feels really soft. <laughs> well, at any rate, this game is this game is very impressive. This game is very impressive. <laughs> that's a very big, uh... It feels like granite. Seems to be elaborately dedicated, uh, decorated in several places. Shame I cannot I am see it. So regretful we brought him. <laughs> Cause he's a blind. He's just. We brought a blind person and an idiot, as far as we could tell, to solve in a puzzle solving thing, and we left the other four people, five people, to go do their own thing. Yeah, but like we picked the two people who are like the worst to deal puzzles with. <laughs> this is like the one group I didn't want to take. Yeah. Remember, this is like the exact group I didn't want to take with us. No, you, you didn't. Uh, your original group was that you didn't want to bring Snake and Santa. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't like Santa. Yeah, I didn't want to bring. You, you actually specifically said I'm okay with seven. Seven and because seven and what's his face and Ace. Seven and Ace, yeah. Seven and Ace would have been fine. Yeah. A shame it's I cannot see it. How do you snake. feel that something is granite? I've got so many questions. Like, yeah, did you have? Have you just been feeling stuff over and over again, asking people if you're right? He or not? has a heightened sense of, of feels. Everything. He a has better place. feels than the average human. Some firewood here, but nothing else. Yeah, it's behind a bar. Him. We should probably go behind the bar. The card, the card. There. Oh, oh, there we go. Card five. Wait, it's another spade. Five of spades. Why is five it a, of spades. Why is it another spade? Maybe there's all spades. Well, that would make no sense as to why the lights light up that There's way. There's nothing on the table anymore. Square poker table. There's nothing on it. I feel like I've never seen... I don't know anything about gambling, really, but I feel like I've never seen this before. That's interesting. Usually where you put your chips. Huh. Or you could put... Uh, or it might be an ashtray. Oh, that might be it. It's either Maybe. an ashtray or where you can store chips. Or both. You can just ash on uh, the chips. Two cards, at least. Huh? A playing card? No, it's 
The four of spades. Are we playing solitaire now? There's a card, a playing card. Seven of spades. The seven of spades. The seven of spades. <laughs> no, it's just not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> there's a whole lot of glass in the shelf. It doesn't look like there's anything back there, though. Start breaking things. Just to piss off zero. Well, will you look at that? Someone left a bottle of booze here. Don't mind if I do. Glug glug. Wait, well, it's actually spot. it's actually drinkable. Yeah. How old is this boat? Did you want to do voices or something? I didn't ask. I didn't actually ask. Oh, I can if you want me to. I just if there's one of these characters you wanted to do or something, because I've just kind of just been reading along to keep us going. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I can do. I can do the voices. Of the Whoa, other people, if you want to do Jimbei or whatever his face is, Junpei, Jumpy. I just noticed how much the aspect ratio looks different between your monitor and the TV we're playing on, for like the the window of the text box. Oh yeah. Uh, do you want to voice the other people? Sure. Yeah, you're involved. Yeah, you're I'll leaning, do that. Leaning forward a little bit. I I am uh, <laughs> I was starting to fall asleep. <laughs> uh, this is like we spent so much time not doing anything, and then now we're just spending a lot of time talking about doing things. Doing things. <laughs> Well, it's because, like, yeah, we're not do- we're still not doing things, we're still, like, clicking on something, and it's like a fucking exposition library. Feels like my throat's burning. <laughs> Damn, he really drank it. We don't even know how long it's been there. That's my question. Yeah. It's, like, such a good question to ask. You just like, don't what shove What is this shit. mystery drink? You don't shove shit in your face that you don't know where it's been. The chandeliers hang chandelier-like from the ceiling. What the fuck? <laughs> Jumpy. <laughs> Man, Jumpy, you killing me. <laughs> Jumpy, what's wrong with you, Jumpy? We're worried about you, Jumpy. And it's pretty well polished. Just like how, uh... Yeah, so far the the puzzles are pretty vanilla because you just poke around and find the thing and then you put it in the thing. What's that vase? The vase. Okay. It looked like it stood it's out, It's a so. nothing. Yeah, it really stood out in both camera angles. Yeah. Hello. Ace of Spades. Oh. Not yet. Oh, I missed it. That's a two. something on the table. Oh, that's a three. Sorry. Oh God. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, Bakura. You ever played Jupei? Oh, I thought we were talking about the anime. No, uh, never. Like, like Bakura from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. I was talking then. about Bakura. How about I explain the rules to you a bit? See, Bakura is kind of an unusual game. I like this you got one. The banker and the player. The whole point is that you guess which one's gonna win. And whether the banker or the player wins. Wait, blackjack? It all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games, too. You see, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to nine wins. Oh. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. So a shittier version. They 20. brought an entire version of They brought an entire card game that also revolves around the number nine. And that's it. That's the explanation. Got it? Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, details, that sort of stuff. Why do you remember this? But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. The single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a 9. And the weakest hand is a 0. Oh. You just ignore the number in the 10 spot. We need to get all the cards that equal 9. And then put them into the thing on the wall on the other side. And all the card numbers are all the numbers that we had on our wrist. You apparently ignore the number in the 10 spot. Do you get it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, maybe half of it. Enough. I got a chance at winning the game if I played now. However, we have no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table makes use of those rules. And if it does, in what manner? Then I guess we try everything. I don't know, Saucy Sammy. Oh, there's an eight in here. I see the playing card behind the thick glass case. So we it's just eight of spades. So we need a card that equals nine. Do we have enough to equal nine? A seven. Are we really going to play baccarat? It's a baccarat table. What the hell else would we do? Huh? Ah, uh, stop worrying about it. Did he say that we have to play exactly three cards? Yes. Oh, so we can't just play a one? <laughs> no. To make it one plus eight? I thought that might be work that way. No, we have to, that's his card. Oh, so we, we earn the eight by doing the three numbers? Yeah. What's the opponent's hand? 
Well, there's an 8 in that glass case. So we have to be closer to 9 than them, and they have an 8, so we just have to get 9. We just have to get 9. Okay. Alright then, uh, that's your opponent's number. If that's the case, what three cards do you need to get that number? Three cards? There are a couple of in uh, indentations with white, uh, white lines around them, right? Those mean we gotta put down three cards. So... Place three cards here and defeat the opponent's three. Eight. Eight. That's what we've gotta do, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Huh. Something tells me there. Th those aren't the only rules. Alright, let's give it a shot. Something tells me you're being too nosy. Before I start, I'd better make sure I've got the rules straight. There are three empty indentations. I oh just gotta my pick a God. card and play and figure off. out the right spots just that they got. Skip this. All right, let's give this a try. They like to repeat themselves. So three numbers that add up to nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's for, that's six and uh, wait no five wait five. Six, but we ignored seven, the eight. number in the tens place, so it could be nineteen. Ah, seven. So this would be thirteen, eighteen. Crap. So we need an 8, most likely. No, no that's the 8, so we, we can't use the 8. No. Maybe a 9. Well, we need a 2. No. We need a 2 to do that. Or no, yeah, See. no, we need a... Yeah, we still need a 2, because 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, no. 9, 10. Well, I guess 2, 3, four, and 4, because 3 six. times 3 is 9, so if you had, nine. If you had yeah, 2, so, 3, 4, then it would be 9. Yeah, there you go. Two, yeah. Three, so we just need a 2. I was thinking about getting the 19, but that's not going to work, because I need an 8, which is that, the reward, I believe. Yeah. So, all right, all right just find a 2. Yep, we still have a whole, probably like at least a whole screen to go to, anyway. Yeah. We still have two screens. Four chairs surrounding the square table. I think, right? That square table. It looks like a Mahjong table. Oh, fuck. Do you play Mahjong 7? Uh, maybe. I don't remember exactly, but... I do remember a couple of hands and some of the rules, so I figure I must have played it at some point. Excellent. Once we've va vacated this vessel, I would like to play a game with you. Can you, uh, play? So long as you tell me which tiles I'm eliminating, yes. I believe I have at least enough skill to defeat an amateur. However, I must ask you to remove the, lead, the red tiles when we play. Uh. Uh, that's funny. Also, he can actually play Mahjong while blind, because Mahjong does have, like, braille numbers on it to tell you how which numbers you have. Yeah. So. Check out that stained glass. How oh, beautiful. You can't see it. <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, that's you. Huh? Stained glass is colored pieces of glass placed together in a frame. As I've said many times before, I need only touch it to know. I can at least disconcern the... Discern. Discern the basic structure. How... He just likes to constantly pretend he can see, I guess, and it's in like a slightly obnoxious way. What? What? Mm. I think arrow you got there. Okay. You're Yeah, so we need to put the whole deck in. Seems a card is attached to the panel. And attached very well, it seems. If you don't mind, what sort of card is it? It's a playing card. Fucking asshole. The Ace of Spades, in fact. The Ace of Spades! <laughs> Looked over to you like, here it comes. <laughs> I mean, come on, it was hyping it. Here's the card slot. Looks like we need to pl uh, put a playing card in here. Uh, please don't. All right, let's give it a shot. We don't have the eight, so we can't do No, this. so I need to get the eight, which I do by playing the puzzle. Oh. Not working. The thing I didn't do isn't working. I'm shocked and appalled that guessing at random has not yielded better results. We, I, I we, didn't guess. I just we went. Didn't do I just that. looked at it and then left. Yeah. Yeah. I literally just looked at it and then left. So I'm, fucking weak will. They just let some blind guy walk all over me. Damn it! This isn't exactly working out the way I expected. It's locked, isn't it? Is there a keyhole? 
<laughs> if there is, I can't find it. There is a keyhole. Yeah, I can literally that, see it. It's the nine thing over there. Oh yeah, there no, is. No, there is oh, literally there, oh, a keyhole yeah. on that door. Under the handle, there's a keyhole. You're right. Well, there must be some way to unlock it. Let's look around a little bit more, shall we? Oh, let's go play some slots. Yep, that's we probably have, what we have to do. We have to the cameras. only remaining thing in the room, basically. Oh, they have numbers on them. Is yeah. That important. Oh. Oh, I want to play the wait. It, it, let's see. So heart, spade, diamond. So we need heart, spade, diamond. Heart, spade, no. diamond. Keep look for the other slot machines. Okay, so they all say heart, spade, diamond. Can we see the other ones? But the thing is, like, this had a combination, so let's double check what this was. Yeah, this is, it's clove, I think it's like, uh, clove, diamond, heart. Yeah. Yeah, clo yeah clover, diamond, heart. So we probably need to get that combination. Yeah, it's probably how you win the slants. But here's the question, what do the numbers mean? Well, can you see the other slot machines? Because these chests are numbered. Aren't what slot other? machines? Oh, I thought there was more slot machines. Maybe, oh, wow. maybe on the map, technically. Yeah, there was. Yeah. They're behind you. But we okay. just can't look in that direction, apparently. Okay. So only those three, only those three matter. Hmm. Oh, wow. So the slot machines are right next to the fireplace, technically. So... The weird camera rotation. What if we just put a coin in the number? Yeah. Just give it a shot. All nice. right. Let's drop this coin the coin slot. Come on, you little bastards. I only need one of you. Like, fighting with this coin slot. Oh, do I need to press them in order? Maybe? Probably. What, was it spade, diamond, heart? Was that what it was? Yeah, spade, diamond, heart. Spade. You gotta spin it, son. Can't, so you can't just click on them. No, you gotta spin it. Alright, let's do spin. So you have to click it to get... You have to click it in the right order, I guess? Spade, diamond, heart. Oh, no. I guess that was it. Yeah. Yes! Seven, seven, seven! Oh. And I think I hear something in, unlocking in there. What's up, Junbei? It would appear to be unlocked now. There is something akin to a drawer at the bottom of this machine, yes? There's a pickup drawer for a dividend. Probably the lock from the drawer got unlocked. And when you get a jackpot? That seems super un- that seems super bad. So someone <laughs> just, gets a jackpot and they just take a, the whole fucking drawer. There's a billion monies. Please open it, would you? Maybe it's the ultra jackpot, like when they're bounding, they're counting up like the super mega number over a series of slot machines sometimes. Yeah, but one slot machine shouldn't have access to all that money. Yeah. That. Oh. What is it? That's a two. That's what we needed. Yeah. And a key. That's what we needed. Playing card. And this. A key with the Venus symbol on it. What? Oh my god! What? So now we should get out of here and we can open that one door. Oh, we just I'm need sorry. to figure out how to get out of this room. I'm, I'm just sorry. like, ah, oh, Andrew. I keep it. Rex, <laughs> come on, Junpei, hurry. And he's off. Off to where? What the fuck? There was a playing card in the Venus key. Better put the key in my pocket for later. I'm the only competent person. As for the room. card, yeah, it's really feeling that way. We've got the two. Now we can get the eight, and the eight can unlock the door. The two. So do we have to do this for every slot machine? No. We have why the two. not? We have enough coins, don't we? Why would we, why'd we do it? Because what's in the other slot machine? Uh, we, we, we could try. I mean, I'm just saying, like, what's the worst that can happen? We're empty. I don't have the money. Okay, well that's the worst that can happen. Yeah, I mean, you can only use the money once. Why does it matter what number they are then? I don't know. I'm really not sure about that. Ace. Alright. Better make sure I go th yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> so, Two. You have to drag it? Oh, oh click the click spot. here. Probably would, <laughs> this would work a lot better on a DS. Yeah, it's definitely designed for that. Or a mouse, honestly. Yeah. We're playing in the least least likely way. Although it is ported to a PS4, so I figured a controller would work well for this game. And it probably has been. I don't have to hold a keyboard in my lap while we're doing this dialogue advancing all the time. Alright, if I just put down these three cards. Yes! Open for me. Great. You did it, Junbei. 
Oh, wait. Sorry. You think it's telling us to take the eight card? Come on, let's grab it. And click. All right, let's take this card. Da 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 da. Are we leaving the other ones? What if we need them? Three cards are put down or stuck to the table. What? Like, okay. Like they won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, I don't know how you stick cards to the table so hard that a person can't pick them up, but I'll just accept that. You can't rip them off either? The important thing is that I know I don't need them. For mechanical reasons. All right, let's put the eight in. And click. And yeah, that one. Uh, oh. oh. Right. Didn't you go? Hey. All right, it opened up. It seems we have another device connect uh, to contend with, yes? There are three slots in this one. Uh, good thing we only have three cards left. Let's see. Three slots for the cards. And there's a nine right below them. So that probably means we gotta make a nine with the three cards we put in the slots, right? Just like what we did over there at the Baccarat table. Alright, let's give this a shot. Is that gonna be possible? With three cards? Seven. Ah, uh, yeah, because it's going to be... Wait, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right. So we're dealing with digitized numbers again, where you add the digits. At Baccarat, you ignore the the tenths place, but that, this isn't Baccarat, so you go back to the old rules of adding digits together. Oh, this is doing the fucking... So if it's an 18, we're good. This is really co confusing. I you mean, need to, like, pick, pick a... I mean, this isn't even a puzzle, technically, because we can't pick anything else. No, I know, I'm just saying, like, this is really confusing that you keep switching between, like, random... Yeah. Alright, so I put all the cards we had left in the slots. What happens now? Is that... Yes! I did hear something from the exit. Excellent work, Junpei. That can't be loud enough for the mag. <laughs> that voice. Excellent work, Junpei. <laughs> Wonderful. Like one of your voices is so much louder than the other one by nature. <laughs> it seems the exit is unlocked. Let's go. Like going directly through your poor nose that's always having problems anyway. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That'd be a Let's go. weird direction to go in. All right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's literally uh, go. Yeah. Hoo hoo. Hee hee. Oh, found it. You did it. Yeah. It only cost you everything. This way. Oh. Oh, that's a stock sound. Uh, shoom? Yeah, that's like the teleporting noise they use in a uh, Jet Force Gemini. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, it's a super yeah. stock sound. This way. Oh, the that's The keyhole voiced. with the Venus symbol. Your keyhole. The Venus key should work here. Oh, does it work on women too? It sounds like it did. All right, let's get this thing open. Hmm. No problem. Let me help with this one. Oh, we opened the gate? Oh, for some reason I thought it was like an, another door. I didn't realize it was the gate. It sounds as though you have opened it. We should be able to reach C deck now, I imagine. So where is everyone else? In their other puzzle sequence, I assume. Are they in C deck? Hopefully, or... Is that where the end result is? Or maybe is? not hopefully, because if they're not there, we could do even more puzzles. <laughs> Snake, uh, are you gonna be all right? I mean, the stairs. Please, do not do yourself the embarrassment of underestimating me. I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. Good to hear. Let's move. Uh, I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe a Everything blind man okay can walk here. backwards without tripping. I feel like someone else is gonna show up and I'm gonna be in trouble here. We should check the next deck down, just in case. Just what I thought. D deck is completely underwater. Oh shit! Just like the bottom of the central staircase. That's a mess. I'm just glad the water level hasn't changed much. Why would it? Back to the C deck then. I mean, no, how many? How, what how time? Is check it? out what's here. There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. There's a card. Oh my god! That one's a woman with horns. <laughs> I don't know if that's how that works. And another weird mark. Hey, uh, check it out. It's the symbol for Lotus. Okay, now you know the symbols, apparently. What? See? <laughs> it's got the woman symbol, and then it's got the devil horns, right? <laughs> What'd I just say? 
Yeah, I see it. No two ways about it. Oh, Lotus, they're making fun of the yeah, other character. Yeah, they're making fun of the girl. Yeah, I, I uh, didn't think about Lotus being the name of one of the characters. I'm like, what the fuck does... How do you know it's the symbol yeah, of Lotus? Yeah, because maybe they should have just picked the fucking number names. <laughs> that was a pretty good one, kid. Ow. Oh, whoa, would you watch it, man? Whoa, that hurts. You're gonna break my neck. What are you talking about? The human body ain't that weak. Maybe this will toughen you up, huh? <laughs> This becomes abuse. At I'm some really point. glad that we can have this we laugh looking fall for a in the middle of a death game. One right here. This is a Mercury symbol. Oh, there we go. The marks you mistook for horns are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. I guess there must be a depression or something so we can actually feel it out and tell. Wings and a staff. Well, huh. I think it's because he described that it was a woman's. Oh yeah. A woman symbol with horns. Yeah. So then. She beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. Okay, Sounds now it's like getting Lotus, all right. <laughs> Okay, she hasn't done... She hasn't done... Yeah, yeah, like, now you're just being, like, a woman hater for <laughs> yeah, no we reason. Were like, like we... in the beginning, it was funny when you said that, because, yeah, her personality is pretty, like, standoffish. Slightly prickly, and, yeah, but, like... Yeah, but, like, she's never actually hurt a person. Or, done any, or even really been that strong of a personality. Yeah. She was just, like, slightly rude a couple of times. Yeah. But has largely said, like, four things total in the game so far. Yeah, it seems weird so that you like, keep hanging on this, like, Lotus is a terrible they're, person. They're starting to act like they that she has way more... They've been around her way longer. Like, this joke is almost as long as her contributions to the story so far. <laughs> Seven. Oh, that's too much. Oh, my head. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Unless we can activate this device, I doubt the elevator will function. In other words, we gotta find a key card with a mercury symbol on it. So I would assume. Let's forget the elevators for right now. How about that hallway to the left? Whoa, there's a bunch of doors. Ah, oh, shit. We're not gonna have enough time to check all these, are we? Maybe yeah. we can come back here later. We should check out the other side. Or split up. Let's head back. To the right this up. time. Who are you, Fred? <laughs> uh, there are doors here too. Uh, well, I guess it's just four this time. There's fewer doors over here. It's more likely to be the right, correct one, okay, right? Okay, well now we can split up. Because <laughs> we can each take Let's a door. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Okay, I'm on it. Here. Huh, it isn't locked. I'm going to open it. Dead body. Well, sounds like we're going into another puzzle chamber. That was quick. Yeah. 